Welcome to episode nyingine moto sana. Hii inaitwa Men Hats. Mimi naitwa Gachin Rapper Content Creator. So remember on the last episode ama the previous episode nilikuwa kwambia how you can groom yourself as a man. Unaona ni vitu gani unaweza groom? Uchange appearance yako as a man. Kidogo kidogo ke okay? Mse mwenye anajitake ya off, mse mwenye anajitake ya off their appearance. So that I did in the last and the previous episode. So on this particular episode ya leo, nenda kukwambia tips ama hacks ya venye uneza jua. She's thinking of breaking up with you. Sawa. So ukiona hizi signs in a lady. Jua, ude by the way, ako about to break up na wewe. Sawa. So let's go. So kama kawaida neza kuambia advice yangu ni the minute ume find out ama the minute ume, ume go through episode na umeona by the way mekua kifanya hizi vitu. One of the things neza kuambia ni as much as yana taka kujitoa, pia we jitoe. You get? Because you have to accept that probably mefika point enye, me outgrow each other, probably ya feel your story anymore, hako kwa hiyo zone tena. So you need to move fast. Nona, na nilifanya an episode on how to move on quickly after a heartbreak ama after a breakup na unaenda watch hiyo but one of the things naweza kuambia straight uh, you know one of the things naweza kuambia unaweza fanya just get to a point where you just delete the number you get itakusaidia na ita ita, ita help your process it move a bit more faster cuz kumbuka it time yote yenye probably una go through that ka heartbreak ni nini ni life bado ina songa you get so you need to take care of your mental state and as much as people will tell you at oh you need to give yourself time to heal you need to give yourself in reality the world bado ina songa una get haisimami ati jumwe pata heartbreak haisimami ati jumtu amekuacha bado ina songa so you need to adapt a system ama a way of how to be able to you know to kind of move on quickly from that na ku accept by the way sometimes even though life ina happening you get it's the same way your business would go down ama you'd lose your job hautasema ati sasa utaka uh, ati not looking for a job for another one month ati just because una feel at you kwanza ni heal hakuna ga kitu ka hiyo ni ku move on to the next opportunity on to the next job on to the next uh, you know platform yenye utapata ku kuendelea sawa so it's the same so personally for me i tell you it's the same even in dating sawa so one of the things that is very common that you look out for kitaka kujua kama dem ako ana she's thinking about breaking up with you is the fact that she is avoiding you guys meeting unaona and avoid you for some some from for some weird reason and avoid meet na probably nyinyi ni wale wase like i'm kai sana bila ku meet i'm kai sana bila ku make plans za kupatana but for how when she's doing that she's trying to detach na wewe meaning like she's trying to move on in a way that is very subtle for her na get at the end of the day akifanya hivyo she's not thinking about you she's thinking about her probably hata yeye hataki im heart so anaanza kujidetach kidogo kidogo tu so that now the idea of not meeting up with you often inaanza kumtoka pole pole you get so for her ana jaribu tafuta hiyo closure ya by the time anasema sasa it's done already asha create your distance enough hadi haku feel na already your distance na you feel na wasi wengine anaanza ku entertain wasi wengine probably anaenda dates na wasi wengine sawa so once ume realize we kachali that dem kuna venye like hataki mshinde mmepatana like ana avoid any chances that mtaweza kupatana then she's probably thinking of breaking up with you kitu kingine also inaweza kuambia that she's thinking of breaking up with you is the fact that sasa squeeze ameanza ku complain na get probably vitu zenye ulikuwa unafanya kawaida probably vitu zenye hata hakuwa hii ana catch about squeeze ameanza ku catch squeeze ameanza ku complain yet about to vitu probably hata unaweza sema ni vitu ndogo ama si ati ni kitu umefanya for the first time but sasa ameanza kukua ameanza kukua irritant ameanza ku complain about hizi vitu zote you get so one of the things that pia inaweza kuonesha signal hivi ma red signals tu ikwambie by the way udema nafikiria kuniacha is the fact that atanza complain to and the reason anafanya hivi is cuz anajaribu ku create probably your division ama anajaribu ku create your space ya yeah? like anajaribu kuleta hako ka tension flani ka uh, manze squeeze ni kama uni bambi as much una get squeeze manze una act aje una act aje you get so to realize that most of your conversations zinaisha na yeye kuleta issues probably mkimaliza tu phone call hakuna haezi haye phone call haezi isha kama aja aja bring up issue mkitext haezi uh, text amwezi maliza ku text hiyo siku kama aja bring up issue unaona mkipatana kuna mtu to complain so one of the things hiyo ni sign moja pia inaweza kuonesha by the way udem nikana nafikiria kunitoka you get so one of the things also ni ati anaweza anza ku accuse of things you are not doing e akisul kuna nifanyia anga hivi mbona siku hizi unifanyia angi nini and probably ni too out of circumstances probably mko 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 mefikanga place penye mnaenda anga dates oftenly 
probably imefika point financial status yako kidogo imeenda chini kidogo una struggle kachali so ataanza tu kukuuliza gee kwani ule atanga kunifanyia zile vitu nini nini so anajaribu ku bring in ile aspect ya ni kama it's like, it's like you're trying to neglect ni kama umekukim neglect na get so weka chali unaweza turn uanze ku simp ama ume unaweza iona car sign useme by the way i don't think i can stand this cause first of all oni mtu wa ku understand na probably understand ile situation uko una get so unapata hata kwanza ataanza kukuambia eh hey, kwani sikizi utaki kuniona sijui ni nini na probably you every time you want to see them ana, analeta katu issues as ma hatuwezi pata na hii siku but atakuja aku accuse so anytime wewe unataka kupata na yeye hataki but anakam kuku accuse baadaye where by the way squeeze hutaki kumuona hutaki ku spend time na yeye you get so like i said in the previous uh, point ni hivyo tu kujaribu ku bring up two issues to you get the other thing also which can be very annoying is the fact that an is a fika place at to pick calls zako and what does this mean this means like any time you are going to simu any time una jaribu you know kuongea na yeye probably mso issues zenye mko nazo ama probably you address kitu fulani hataki ku pick call yako you get so unapata probably hata ana kwa void even even ikifika ni ku text ana void text zako in some way but i'll get to, to, to that point in a few but yes so basically calls you get cuz again anajaribu kutoa hiyo attachment flani unajua calls ni more intimate so ana feel ai hapa ana acha niache because at the end of the day when she's made the decision anajua probably ukianza ku notice that anajaribu ku break up na wewe probably you as the guy utajaribu ku win back una get so ana anajaribu ku avoid ku kupe hiyo chance ya wewe ku win back cuz inaweza kuwa possible that probably kwa fikiria ku break up na wewe but sasa we na lugha yako we na vibe yako umekamu sasa umeanza kujaribu ku win back unaona so unaweza jipata uko successful in that that ume, umeweza ku win back so for her to be able to catch you off in a way that how tends to convince as he as he break up na wewe she stop picking up your calls you get and can be very stressing especially kama when yule msewa ai mbona hapik call instead ya wewe ku resign unaanza ku sasa unaanza kukaa nika una so guys, ni ujichunge sana simpin can be a very slippery slope haujiwagi ukiingia unajipata gando wewe umeanza ku type ma word document hapo umeanza ku type ma pdf document hapo just because probably how read the signs ama hauko willing ku kusema by the way i think nikiangalia venye vitu zinaenda ude mnataka kunitoka instead ya we kungoje ya kutoke mtu okay you get delete number yake funga hiyo chapter because at the end of the day it's almost it, it by the time nafika hapo imefika point yenye ni inevitable that she's thinking of breaking up with you and she wants it to happen hata kama bado hajakuambia verbally sawa another point ni ati inafika point penye demsa ni ameanza kukugretic ameanza kukublutic and what that means is anafika point enye ya nakatiza nga two story openye tu ata feel ah sitaki kuendelea na story anaikatizi hapo na probably nyinyi wale wasi mkianza conversation hata before probably useme unataka kuweka simu chini mnaambia nanga eh by the strong jioni nini nini sasa hiyo itakuimeisha so hiyo kata si fulani ya yeye kukuambia ati oh strong jioni ama tuongee later nimeanza kushikana kiasi hiyo inaisha so anytime ana feel kuacha kuacha na hiyo conversation anakatiza and especially on whatsapp so uta, uta realize most of the time probably ata online but where akurudishi text una mtu mwingine akurudishi una mtu mwingine anakublutic you get so it has ever happened to me in a way that msana kugretic na shina kugretic so for me what i used to do is akini gretic say i won't continue with the conversation had kesho and then probably kesho ntamshtua akinifanya the same kesho yengine akimfanya the same kesho yengine so alikuwa amefika point yenye amechoka na mimi hadi like anajiuliza hadi ikafika point ananiuliza like how come when ki gretic how ni texting and so i got to understand that kumbe ana expecting akini gretic mini endele ku kum text you get and that's simple unaona so ana anakufanya hivyo intentional you get so ukaiwa na mtu ameku gratitude ameku blutic usidhani ati sijui amelala ama ni chances amelala ni very few especially kama the next day hata amka kukuambia ni aje e manzeni ni doze off kitukaa hiyo hata kupe excuse fulani but mse tu ameku gratitude tu hivyo just know at some point ni very intentional and especially with blutic it's very very intentional So the other sign also unaweza angalia ujue ude by the kuna venye anaenda ku break up na mimi ama signs that she's thinking of breaking up with you is the fact that imefika point sasa ameanza kukuongelelea rudely ama kukuongelesha rudely meaning 
like kama ni mse alikuwa anakongelesha ngana ka heshima fulani ka respect fulani yoyote ameirusha nje ya mlango and nao anakuongelesha venye yeye anataka you get so inaweza kuwa ni toxic personality pia imeanza ku check in lakini the other thing inaweza kuwa tu ame lose value yako because the minute uh, mse amefika point anataka ku, ku break heart na ama i mean anataka ku ku end things na wewe ama ku break up na wewe is the fact that amefika place probably hiyo love isha mtoka kama alikuwa anakupenda hiyo love isha mtoka and anafika point probably ana feel uh, ikitoe yendelei so anaanza kujidetach mapema so ukiona tu dem anaanza kuonesha na kama dharau fulani anaanza kuongelesha na kama dharau fulani just you are all dem at the back of her head asha decide by the way umse umse like it ends now and here you get so ukiona hivyo again we actually choose what you have to do you have two options unaweza baki hapo simp I'm going to take my option which is delete number and move on with life you get madam ni wengi uh, uh, life is full of people you get get to know other people get to know other ladies sawa so usi 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 jibox in hapo ukae ngoje kutusio ngoje kuambiwa madharau ngoje tu kubebanisha ufala jua wewe ndio the man and you are the guy who has the decision when do you choose you know these signs when do you choose what to do next sawa The other thing also that can happen ni na inaweza kuwa ni sign that she's thinking of breaking up with you ni anaweza fika point tu anakula anakuli inaweza fika tu point anakulizanga outrightly by the way si to break up au oh, unaona no, just to break up you get tumaliza tu wiki tu the minute amekwambia kitu at once you get the minute amekwambia kitu ama usikie amekwambia kitu kama like i know just one day will break up i know i know one day it will end kumbuka venye niliwaambia in a previous episode niliwaambia Dema tana za kana hiyo thought for three months anajoga wewe kuna time fulani mwezi fulani siku fulani wewe tuna break up hii siku you get and these people are very cheeky in a way that anaweza ngoja probably at a special day pite probably ni birthday yake so probably ana feel your day uh, probably utambaya kitu so ako like ah acha kwanza nipate present yake and then break up nae after you get so don't be that person who waits to the point and yet you vunjwa roho kabisa kumbuka there are some heartbreaks you can get Uh, back to, uh, you can you can like unaweza rejuvenate haraka ama unaweza unaweza you can get back on your feet haraka na kuna zingine zenye zinaweza ku hurt depending on how deep you are in that relationship when you guys were dating sawa so you really need to take care of your mental health again you really need to take care of uh, state yako tu kama mwanaume get usifike point yenye una feel ume kwa, ume ume, ume finyiliwa chini 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 kabisa especially if you are dealing with somebody who is toxic sawa So we have come to the end of this episode. I'm sure kuna vitu sijataja and I know that probably unaweza kuwa na an experience you'd want to comment your thoughts on this particular episode. So on this particular topic nataka kusikia comments zenyu. Please niandikia comment hapo chini. I'll be sure to read it. Pia to share. Unaona tuguruka community fulani kwa wanaume wenye wanapea nanga hizi vitu ama wanashia nanga hizi vitu. Sawa so join me on the next episode next episode nitakuwa kuambia next ama tutakuwa tunaongelea and explain things that girls do sawa so join me on that particular episode it's going to be an interesting episode so make sure you watch your episode and you come up next and see you on the next one and kama kawaida thanks